So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload your first YouTube video. And this video is meant for folks that aren't millennials that are really super um, intuitive with computers. So I'm gonna be walking through this slowly. So when you log into YouTube, you should see your face here in the upper right hand corner, or maybe it's just your first initial um, or your last initial or your business's first initial, but you'll see a circle in the upper right hand corner that represents you. That is saying that you're logged in and it might be you might be logged in because you have a Gmail account or something like that. But to the left of that, you'll see a couple of icons and one of them is a video camera with a plus icon. So just click on that. It might be labeled as create uh, along with the video camera icon. Then go to upload video. And here you can drag or drop a video or you can click select to find the files on your hard drive. So I'm gonna click select. And I'm going to look on my desktop because that's where I saved a video. So here's a video that I made last week. I will click the click the video and then click open. And this will take a few minutes to upload um, based on the length of your video. Mine's only 10 seconds long and I have a fast internet connection, so it's it's uploading pretty quickly. But while that's going on, you can set the different things that are on this page. So you definitely need to have a title. So I'm gonna change this to, um, sample video and you'll just want to name it something um, that helps people understand what's going to be part of your video actually you know what I'm gonna give this a better name um, George talking about coaching and then you can also give it more like the description. So uh, give it a little bit more description. And I have another video where if you really wanna get good at this, where you can figure out exactly what to put in these boxes, there'll be a reference up in the upper right hand corner or at the end of this video. But type a, a quick description. You can see in the lower right hand corner, this number is changing as you type the characters. You can type 5,000 characters in here. So you can put a lot, of, a lot of information in the description. The next thing down is to select the thumbnail. So YouTube will choose three spots from your video and you can change which one you want to, um, to use as the thumbnail. The thumbnail, of course, is the, when someone's looking for videos, it's the little piece that they see um, by default, along with your title. So let's just change it over to this one, say. So you see here, there is an option to upload a thumbnail. Um, if you don't see that, you can just go to youtube.com front slash verify and add your phone number and you'll get this option to upload your own thumbnail that you make in something like Photoshop or uh, Canva. You can add it to a playlist if you have a playlist, but if this is your first video, uh, that's probably not, uh, you probably don't have a playlist yet. You have to tell YouTube if this is made for kids or not. Now it's not as important to tell it whether kids will be watching your video because YouTube has a lot of kids and they will be watching videos. But is the intention of this video, is the topic something that is made for kids or is it something that's made for adults? You can also go in uh, with some age restrictions. We won't get, get into that. Okay, let's click next. You can add some extra elements, but if this is your first video, no need to do that. Click next one more time. And you can decide how you want this video to show up. So you've got three options here from private, which is, as you can see, only you and the people you could choose can watch this video. It's actually a little tricky to get uh, private videos um, to be only the people you choose. The easier thing to do would be to click unlisted so only people with the link can view. So if you want to share this with your family, but um, not have it be showing up in Google, then unlisted is the way to go. And you can send that link and they can send it around. Uh, and people who have the link can watch, but people who don't aren't going to just discover your video randomly. Or then being available to the public. So this is something it could show up uh, in YouTube when someone searches, it could show up on Google. It could show up pretty much anywhere. So for this one, I am going to click public. So that way everyone can see it and then go down to the lower right and click publish.
and it immediately gives you options to share your video. So you can do that if you'd like through Facebook or Twitter. Uh, there's a number of options that are built in here. Embed if you'd like to put this video into your website. Or down here, there's a link to the video. So you can go to the, the boxes, the two boxes that are overlapping, click copy video link, and then you'll be able to paste that somewhere if you want to paste it into an email or if you want to paste it into Facebook or LinkedIn or any of the different places that you could paste a link. You can use that here. There we go. I'm going to click close and you can see it's brought us over to YouTube Studio here and now this is where you would manage all of your videos and you can see that this is the videos tab and your videos listed here. You can click and change things on your video, see how many people are watching, or you can click on the video here and watch it over on YouTube. So that's it. Uh, that's how you upload your first video to YouTube. Like I said, in the upper right-hand corner, I've got a video that goes much more in depth into how to do this well if you wanna show up in a search engine, if you're doing this for your business. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you click subscribe. I'm trying to reach my 1,000th subscriber. I'd love to have you be part of that group.